So this episode is gonna be a little bit of a gut puncher. This is the last episode of the cluster and probably the last Ark Survival Evolved video I'm ever going to make. And we're starting out here in the island for a little bit of a tour. We're going to be taking a look back through memory lane and uh, pretty much going through everything that I built. Um, obviously starting over here where we actually started out our adventure. And then at the very end, we're going to be checking out Valkyro because I did the most stuff over there and it would feel weird to put that like towards the end, but not right at the end. So um, yeah, guys, one last time, I'm, I'm just going to ask you this. Go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. Really just help me out. I do appreciate it. If you've loved this series as much as I have, I would definitely appreciate a like on this one. Just show your support, you know? Let, let me know how much this series meant to you. Because we've been doing this for three years, man. Like, three years is a long time. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's it's been such a fun series as well. I'm super happy with it. And it's kind of, it's a little bit gut-wrenching that I actually have to end it, you know? I, I can't really keep it going with ASA coming out. That wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense. Like, nobody's going to want to watch Ark Survival of All videos when... There's a hopefully better version of Ark out there. I don't know. I haven't played it yet, so we'll see. We'll see. But um, real quick, we're just going to go into fly mode. Uh, this is just going to help me actually produce the video a little bit better. We're also going to take that off so I don't accidentally use it and fall out of fly mode. Um, and maybe I'll just set the time of day here. There we go. Cool. Nice. Nice and bright. We're going to do all that because it's the last episode. I don't really care. I just want to show you guys the stuff from cool angles that I would really struggle to show you uh, with my tech suit on. But um, yeah, so... This was our very, very first base on this series that I could already see some damage has happened at some point. I'm not sure when, but this was Syntac Manor. Um, we actually, I think I initially wanted to build here because I always love this spot, but I never realized how, like, how uneven it, it is. It's, it's such a hill and there's no, like, actual nice spots to even build something. Maybe kind of like down here, but not really. Not really at all, to be honest. So, um, I did settle for an area right beside it, of course, right here, looking out onto the swamp. We have the redwoods there as well. If you're curious of where we are, we are at, uh, I'm looking at the top left-hand corner with my tech helmet on. We are at, uh, 70, uh, 49, 34, 46. So, um... Yeah, I would recommend this spot for anybody who was looking for a nice building spot for ASA. The only thing that you'll need to do is maybe actually build some, like, walls or something down here to stop the snakes from coming up, because that was a constant thing. But, um, yeah, so let's take a little look inside while flying, which is kind of weird. Uh, like I said, there seems to be some damage here. I'm not sure when that happened. Uh, but anyway, over here at the left kind of side, we have the, uh, the little dining hall, which is pretty cool. I think I actually painted that table as well. Oh, yeah, it is painted. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, we have this really cool fireplace, which you may have noticed a second ago, actually sticks out the roof and obviously starts down here. That's because I put a second fireplace inside of that little box that I built. And, um, yeah, to kind of, like, essentially make this effect where it's actually sticking out of the roof instead of, like, you know, just being on the inside of the building, which would have looked really weird. But, um, yeah, super happy with the way that that turned out. It looks really nice. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess additionally, I... I, I I pretty much forgot to put in the rest of the trophies, or maybe I took them? I have no idea. It's been a long time since I've actually lived in this spot. Probably, like, two and a half years, I would say. So, um, yeah. It's kind of crazy actually coming back here and just seeing my building techniques from, like, three years ago. Because, uh, there's a lot that I would change. I feel like I've definitely improved a huge amount since then. Uh, we've got a couple, like, dermises over here. Uh, is this an actual dermis? Oh, it is from something. Zomdodo. I guess they're broken or something. Um, we had, like, a very strange bedroom over here with some lighting glitches for some reason. I think at one point I was going to section this off, but I don't know why I decided not to do that. Very, very strange. We had our little, like, kitchen area over here, and then we have, like, a little bathroom in here, actually. Or a big bathroom. Wow. This is the weirdest-looking bathroom ever. Why is the toilet so far set back from the tap area where you, like, wash your hands? Also, the mirror's broken. <laughs> it doesn't work. Uh, yeah, th I don't know if I'd want to poop in here at all, and I don't need to poop right now, so I won't be. But, um, yeah, so that's that, and then we have, like, a random tech generator just shoved here, probably from me getting frustrated at my normal generator running out of gas. Uh, let's go down here. So this is, like, the basement, which is, like, kind of like the, um, the workshop and crafting area and everything. We had some storage over here, some storage over there, and then item storage over here. I'll probably end up doing something like this for ASA as well if I can find those images uh, as like an actual paint file super early on. I don't know how that's all gonna work. I assume they're probably gonna overhaul that kind of system because it's kind of weird right now, but yeah. Um, so this is pretty cool, like a nice little thing. Obviously, uh, the S Plus ones have a lot more slots because I made them that way. So, you know, it's not just like 15 little slots with like a tiny bit of storage. But um, yeah, we had like just a bunch of other stuff around here. Our whole like crafting area in the middle. 
And then in here, I believe, is that going to open? There we go. This is our breeding area. And I think we had a couple breeding explosions down here at some point. For sure. We definitely did. <laughs> then we had our, like, uh, our, like, cellar door or whatever you want to call it over here. To kind of, like, lead into the basement. Which I actually really liked. I liked the whole idea of actually doing that back there. And, um, all in all, this is a really cool base. We had our little farm on the side, of course, which has all died since then. Are you kidding me, Evo? He did that. I know he did that, because he did a bunch of those over on, um, Valkyro, like, ages ago. How had I... It's been so long. How have I not noticed these yet? What? <laughs> okay, cool. That's great. Yeah, so he's clearly trying to uh, bear trap me, because I remember. I don't even know if I even included any of it in the videos, because I always accidentally stood in them when I wasn't recording. And what am I going to do? Like, start recording like, oh, look, I'm in a bear trap. So, yeah. Um, very strange prank, Evo. But, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for putting more over here, ass. <laughs> Anyway, it's all good. Uh, we have a bunch of other clutter out here, of course, right now, which is unfortunate. Which, you know what? Let's go ahead and just get rid of. <laughs> let's just uh, let's just go ahead and do this. Why did that gate stay? That is weird. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Oh, it's not. Yeah, we got it demolished because they're not... Um, they're not... They're slightly damaged, and they won't let me pick them up, basically, is essentially what just happened there. So um, this is pretty much it in terms of what we built here. We, of course, also had one of the first magic portals over here. This is a way to get between maps, in case you're not familiar. I'm not going to use it. Wildcard told me not to use it anymore. But um, yeah, that was a really, really cool way to get between maps for sure. So um, yeah, this is pretty much it when it comes to the island. I think next, I didn't build on Scorched. So we're going to be moving over to uh, Aberration. And um, yeah, let's catch you over there. Okay, here we are in Aberration with my crazy suspended base that I did. Um, so obviously this thing is kind of trying to suit the Aberration terrain. Um, <laughs> such a crazy looking idea. I love it though. This is a really, really fun base to actually just look at now. Um, it was very, very painful to build for sure. Remember those pillars were really annoying, but... Um, yeah, so this was kind of like my idea. I wanted to build in the Crystalline Lake area. I just couldn't find a nice spot. So I think initially I had a massive platform over here, just kind of like spreading across this whole spot. And then I decided against my whole idea there. And then instead did this. And it comes a little bit close to the crystal up at the top. It doesn't actually... Yeah, it doesn't look like it goes through it at all. But um, it definitely looks like it's, get, it's getting a little bit close. Uh, where do I even start with this one? <laughs> Like, how do I even show this one off? Uh, maybe we'll start at the bottom. So, right down here, let's go to walk mode again. There we go. Right down here, we had, like, our little platform to get up into the base, um, with the really cool, uh, standing torches with angler gel in them. If you didn't know you could do that, there you go. Some people don't for some reason. Uh, and then we come up. This is the first floor on the, uh, tech elevators. So, kind of just like the bottom of the, um... I don't even know what to call this one. What is it even called? What did I call this? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, down, or I guess up here, <laughs> we have uh, the first floor, which is kind of like the workshop area. Very, very basic. We have just like everything that we would need, though, around here, except for chemistry bench. I do not see one. To be honest, I didn't really base on any of these maps. I kind of actually just, you know, built up really cool bases and workshops, but I mostly lived out of Valgiro. Um, which of course we'll be checking out at the very end. There's so much over there. It's just, it's going to be crazy. But, uh, yeah, so we have one of our, uh, Megalosaurs over here from our little army, which actually turned out pretty cool, actually. Really, really nice. Kruger, just like Freddy Kruger. Um, just like a nightmare. Oh my god, those things are really cool. I can't wait to play with Megalosaurus again. Uh, let's go up to the next floor. This is... Oh yeah, this is like the light pet area. So, I was gonna do a bunch of breeding in here, but I ended up not doing it. I don't know why. Um, I think I had the idea to do it, and then... I don't... Uh, yeah, I, I can't remember why. There's been so many, like, abandoned projects and ideas throughout this whole cluster. It's kind of been crazy, so... Yeah, um, we have, uh, just one... <laughs> one Shinehorn in, in here. There was supposed to be, like, a little, uh... A little kind of area for each of them as you can see it's like separated out so um yeah this would have been like the area where i would probably would have stored a bunch of spares and did a bunch of breeding and stuff like that so um yeah let's move up to the next floor which is i think the top floor yeah this is the top floor this is like the trophy room which i never actually fully filled as you can see we got a couple of these rockwell um trophies but not all of them so i think we probably have like two gamma and then one alpha hmm I thought I did the alpha again, though, recently. Weird. Uh, we've also got the artifacts as well. So we've got, uh, I think this is the stalker, right? Uh, artifact of the stalker. Yeah, this is the, can't remember, the shadows. And then this is the depths. 
Um, and then we have a bunch of the Rockwell flags as, around, of course, as well. Uh, to get the, the Dermis of this guy, I think it is possible, but I wasn't able to. And then in the end, I actually ended up just giving it to myself. Um, but you can actually get the tentacle Dermises, which are really weird. I think they're actually kind of like sticking into the ground, maybe. I don't know if I'll be able to show you that properly. But um, yeah, so this would have been a really cool room with like the Rockwell Dermis right here. Rockwell... Uh, you know, um, head trophies all over the walls and everything, flags in every single direction as well. Uh, I don't know why this one's like randomly placed here though. This should have been placed right back there. Weird. But um, yeah, so I really like this base actually. It's it's really cool. I wish I had have probably spent more time over here, but um, unfortunately I kind of built this towards the end of the series and um, it was kind of just like a project that I wanted to do. And at that point it wasn't really super functional. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the um, the aberration base. So I think next I didn't build on extinction, but I did build on Genesis part one. There we go. And let's head on over there. OK, so Genesis part one. I actually built two bases over here. This one is very old. I built this a long time ago. This is uh, the bog base. Um, I should probably be showing off coordinates occasionally, but yeah, uh, in case you're wondering why I don't have the full map, it just gets reset every so often. It's kind of annoying. Uh, there we are. We are at, uh, what is that? 69, uh, 61. And yeah, this is it right here. Pretty cool. Um, I mean, not absolutely amazing. It's kind of just like a basic little workshop area. I think my whole idea for this whole, um, this biome was to actually build a couple tree platforms across, uh, like basically this massive tree right here. So we had another one down here. We had another one right there. And I think my initial idea was to actually like live here on Genesis. But in all honesty, the bog is not a nice biome to live in. And I think we can all agree on that. It's, it's kind of awful. So um, yeah, in the end, I decided not to. Uh, but it is a pretty cool looking base. I actually really like what I did here with the zip lines. It makes it look like it kind of makes it look like it's all suspended up from these middle pillars. And yeah, I really like that actually. Very, very nice. I gotta probably work with zip, zip lines a little bit more often because it looks quite nice. Um, but yeah, so just kind of a basic little workshop. And now we're gonna head on over to my ocean base, which is properly built up. Here it is, the ocean base is loading in. Give it a sec. So this uh, unfortunately is kind of a bit of a uh, abandoned project as well. Let me, uh, let me just kind of go through some of the stuff real quick. So. First of all, the whole idea here was just a massive, like, ocean platform area with a shaft in the middle that leads right down to the ocean floor, which we do have, and I'll check out in just one sec. But uh, then what I wanted was massive, like, water pens. So you can see right here, we have this really big water pen, and uh, we've got a bunch of our water creatures in here. We got, like, a bunch of our mutated guys, one of our Zephactinus, the Abyssal one, which looks super cool. I believe we fought uh, Booter with that like an army of those at one point we had our uh x basilo which looks pretty nice actually i've always been bothered by these guys because of their their weird uh pattern so they they added in like the uh horizontal stripes but they kept the vertical ones and i just think it looks so stupid looking <laughs> but uh yeah what else do we have we have our uh oh my god yeah i forgot how cool this guy looks damn our little um ichthyosaur our x ichthy and then we have our x uh dunkley just like i did a bunch of mutations i think one time about a year or two ago so yeah they all look pretty cool just a random two so and then we also have our uh helicoprion which is of course from arc editions uh never really checked them out a little bit more should probably do that at some stage because they look pretty cool and uh, i think having a really uh powerful one <laughs> could be a really fun idea but uh yeah so we actually do have more ocean creatures they're unfortunately just not in there uh we also have our dude over here our little archelon or whatever it's called um this is also from arc editions really cool just a giant turtle he's pretty pretty useful i think uh i've also left a bunch of stuff in here i just realized yeah i left those in there the other day let me go ahead and grab those <laughs> uh so here's the unfortunate part right i wanted to build like a really cool base up top here but my ideas were just not coming together and I just could not do something that I was happy with. And I, I tried a couple iterations. I really did. And eventually I just was like, okay, we're just going to leave it for the moment. And then of course I never came back to it. So it is what it is. Let me just show you kind of what I had. So just like little corner pieces right here. I wanted it to be like fairly open, but not like castly on the water. So yeah, it just, it didn't really come together. So just a bunch of like basic kind of building just thrown in here. Um, I think I also expanded out the platform by like a little bit to have these ramps coming in, which I quite like. But um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> we also only had like one proper water pen. I don't think I penned in any of these other ones. No, I did not. Should have probably done two of these long water pens on either side and then one small one 
uh, on either side of the middle right here, which would have actually been really cool. Uh, we're going to quickly just drop down the shaft here and let me show you. <laughs> I love this. This is so trippy. You just get so fast and it gets crazy looking around. Um, so this was our ocean floor base, which I really liked. Uh, unfortunately, it also suffered from like just... You know, initial concept was cool, but, like, how the hell do I continue this? So, this was our main room down here, our little workshop area. Uh, and then, of course, right here, it leads into one of these giant portholes with a Eurotrid. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you know what? Wait, can I use this down here? Does this work? It does not. Ah! Oh, he actually hit me. Oh, crap. Oh, no, that actually might knock me out. Dude, get out of my base. What are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> Am I okay? I don't think he torpored me. I think we're good. Weird. All right, well, anyway... Oh, there, oh, I thought that was another one. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> we have a giant porthole right here leading into this cool little cave, which I just thought was a cool idea to kind of incorporate into my base. So it's almost as if I start up at the very top of the water, and then I can get down to this cave without even touching water at all, which is uh, pretty nice. So, yeah, this was like our main room, and then my plan was to kind of expand off in all directions here. And I started with probably the strongest idea here, which was to make a circular, uh, like... What do you call it? What are these things even called? Like vacuum compartment area? Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So, of course, S plus helped me a lot with this. Um, a lot of, like, very specific placing to the point where the floor looks very shifty and strange. Um, yeah, you can't place them normally like this with S plus. You have to do some trickery, which I think I might have showed in a video. I can't remember. But, um, yeah, this was inspired by Subnautica, of course. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I just, I never, uh, I never continued any of this stuff. Uh, which definitely should have done because it would have actually been really really cool to like build a massive base just like all around the bottom of the ocean here just like a tunnel leading to different like handy missions and stuff would have been really cool but um yeah so all in all like I really like this base I think it was a really fun project but um again it just suffered from like you know how do I continue this ism yeah anyway so next up we're gonna head on over I will head to Genesis part 2 I did something which I don't think I even showed off to people but it's not that impressive. So we're gonna show it off anyway. Is this it? I think this is the right one. Yep, this is it. So, uh, <laughs> I, I technically built something down here. I'm not sure if I ever actually showed this off. I don't believe that I did, but I was going to build a full on like lab down here in the ocean section underneath um, the Eden biome or whatever you wanna call it. I don't know how to describe this area. This is just, let me show you. Let me just fly out here. So this is like a really cool, like natural spot that's just like built into the uh, the biome. Um, we are at, was that 4368? And uh, yeah, I don't know. This is a really cool spot. It's just like, it's just there. So the only way to get in is under here and then you come up and then you're in and there's the same over that side. So um, I think my issue with this one was that uh, I found that everything here was like proportioned very, very strangely. So. Things weren't, like, flush. Things weren't um, measured out properly, and it was kind of messy, and it just frustrated me to the point where I was like, if foundations cannot fit evenly between all this stuff, then I don't really want to bother. So, yeah, it was, like, a lot of different snap points and stuff that made a lot of this uh, happen here. So, yeah, I wasn't super happy with it. But the whole idea here was just, like, a little workshop area on Genesis Part 2. As you can see, I just had, like, a little bit of decoration down here. Again, I'm not even sure if I showed this. So, yeah, um... <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is pretty much it. I was going to build a lot of stuff down here, just like a bunch of storage, a bunch of benches, and probably use this base a lot, I would have said. Um, but yeah, of course I didn't. I did actually have like a tiny little workshop out in the open, which probably suited a little bit better because in all honesty, getting down here would have been a pain. I would have teleported here every single time. And uh, yeah, it wouldn't really made a whole lot of sense. But I do really love the idea of doing something like that, like this down here, because it's a really cool spot, to be honest. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And there's no thingy to get out of here. I can use, uh, where are, do, do I have a, oh, I do not have one. Ah, that's annoying. <laughs> okay, I gotta get out here the manual way. So yeah, up top of here was my actual little mini base, which I did use quite a lot because I kept coming here. So we're going to go over to Ragnarok, which is probably one of my favorite bases that we did in this whole series. And uh, yeah, it's our Titanosaur base. There you are, Atlas. Okay, yeah, we're gonna wait for all this to load in. I think that's it. Yeah, that looks like everything. So this is my wandering base, my Titanosaur base and we call this thing atlas eventually oh hello look at you with that big goofy smile god they they really need a rework that is uh yeah that's very strange anyway so this idea 
was in the back of my mind for a long time and I never realized how well it would be received. The video for this is actually in my top 10 videos, I do believe. So yeah, really, really cool. Um, The outside of it just looks amazing. I kind of made it to like a little bit of like a war base, but also like a little bit of a, uh, a peaceful base up at the top there. So um, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check it out from the inside. I'm actually going to stand in here because it might be a bit weird to fly. But um. Yeah, so right up front, uh, well, I think pretty much anywhere here where you can see the metal, you can actually access the platform saddle. And uh, by the way, just in case anybody's curious, I made the server settings on here in a very specific way so I wouldn't actually have to deal with this thing starving. You can actually see uh, right there. It's only dropped down by like 14 since whenever I last pumped in like one or two berries or whatever. So yeah, I, I did that just because I don't see the point of a titanosaur if I can't keep it, you know, and I'm not using it for raids. So yeah, we... um. We, we basically made it so it's eternal. But uh, yeah, so up here we have like a bunch of uh, minigun turrets. We have some ballistas here as well. Kind of just like a little bit of a war base down here. Uh, we have a crap load of cannons up here. I really like the way this, this looks from the outside. And it actually kind of looks cool from the inside. The only thing is I can't actually reach the ones up at the top. So kind of weird. But um, yeah, kind of same thing going on over here. Uh, then right here we actually have a way to get into the base which is this massive rope ladder leading all the way down. And by the way, those are cages suspended down, which um, I probably would have put my enemies in. But but yeah, so same thing over the other side. And then in the very middle here, we have a teleporter, of course. And then we also have our little stairs to get up. Let me get up there properly. And then this is our like workshop area. Um, I build a lot of workshops. I really do. <laughs> uh this was also kind of like a way that um oh yeah actually at the front we have some catapults we have some drums and some syntax flags and some trophies and other stuff um but yeah this was kind of like our way to fly the flyers in um i didn't realize that you could change your server settings to allow more gates um i never did that and i think that i wanted more but i settled for just this one small one um <laughs> so i probably would have had more gates if i had known that i could have done that or maybe I did, and I just couldn't figure it out. I don't know. Anyway, so, yeah, workshop up here, really cool. Um, I actually love these balconies out here as well, just the way that it looks as well from the outside. I don't know, just something about it. it looks really, really nice. Honestly, the adobe structures are so fun to build with. They are so, so nice. Um, same kind of thing at the back here with Megapithecus flags instead. And then I think up at the top we have a dragon and a manticore. Yeah, we have a manticore for sure. Um, so, yeah, to get up to the next floor, we have to get onto this ladder right here. And then this is kind of like the bedroom area. And you can see up here we have a little bit of decoration. Um, and then we have a suit of manticore armor. We have a titanosaur. Uh, it's almost like our map, you know. If only I could have the actual base up here on the back there as well. But um, tiny little titanosaur germ is hidden as well. Like a hidden taxidermy base. Um, and then we like just, again, more decoration up here. Just like a more kind of like homey looking stuff. Um, and then out here we have our little farm. So... Of course, all the crops since then have actually died, but I figured it would be kind of cool to actually have the food growing up here, the food needed to feed this thing on its back. Yeah, I thought that would be kind of cool. Uh, we have dragon flag out the front. Yes, this is the front. Same thing over here on the other side. Uh, kind of getting a little stuck, though, unfortunately. Uh, ooh, are we okay? I think we're okay. We're going to do a little bit of flying anyway. So, yeah, then out the back here, I actually built... I built this a little later, but, um, yeah, I really like the idea of having a wind turbine on it, and it actually spins as well, which is really cool. So, yeah, uh, all in all, really love this base. I mean, it looks amazing from the front, especially with the wind turbine. I just think that pulls it together an extra little bit, but, um... Yeah, really, really cool. Love this. Love the idea of doing this. And this is my actual base here on Ragnarok as well. I actually use this place quite a lot. Um, I think as well, actually. I could have I could have actually stood inside of these cages, I do believe. I think I have, like, a hidden, like, glass ceiling there. Yeah, you can see it right there. It, it's just, like, a glass ceiling right there. I'm so sneaky with my building. Like, I want it to look a specific way. So I'll just do this, hide it, and then it will all be there uh, and functional and everything. But, um, yeah. All in all, really cool. By the way, that Titanosaur actually has Valentine's colors from probably about two years ago now at this stage. So, yeah, really like this. Um, I'm so happy with it. Uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much the um, the base over here on Rag. We're going to skip Val. We're going to go back to that later. And I think next up, uh, Crystal Isles, which is another creature base. Can I get out of here? I think I have a transmitter in here, right? I do not. I thought I did. Or maybe I can't place those on a platform. I can't remember. Well, that doesn't look right. Where's the saddle? <laughs> there is a saddle. I don't know where it's gone, though. It's just not visible, probably. Uh, maybe I'll re-log. That might help. Okay, we got the saddle this time. We just need to, uh, we need to wait for the rest to load in. Uh, oh, it looks like everything's in. Cool. 
Um, all right. Well, anyway, this right here was the Desert Titan floating castle, flying castle, whatever. Um, one thing about this base that I'll just say straight off the bat is I was never 100% happy with this because of the building restrictions and the weirdness of the saddle. And also, it was very difficult to build because you can see how much it shakes. It shakes a lot more than the Titanosaur. But all in all, still a pretty cool base. Um, definitely could have done the front a little bit better, but it is what it is. I, I After I was done, I was like, I'm kind of just done. I don't want to build anymore on, on the back of this stupid saddle. It's just, oh, man. Yeah, it would not stop shaking. And it's very frustrating to place things if you're trying to build very intricately. But um, yeah, so you can see from a distance, it's just a massive castle in the sky. Uh, really love the idea of it. It's just the execution for me just didn't work out very well. Uh, one cool little thing is I added in a bunch of like supports going into the Titanosaur to make it look legit. And uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool, actually. Um, if I had more time in the series and I probably didn't have to rush to the Master Controller fight, I probably would have maybe tamed up a um, an Astrocetus and then a couple Astrodelphus and then just like had them around the sky or something like that. But um, yeah, so... Here is the, the inside of the castle. Um, what happened to those flags? Uh, I don't... Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, they're loading in. Um, I'm not entirely certain who made this. A long time ago, somebody made this cool flag, and I just I uh, downloaded it from my Discord. Don't ask me who. Don't ask me where. Don't ask me how you can find it. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you can see right here, we have like the front little kind of like section where you can kind of like view out the very very front of this dude um and then we had like just a little bit of decoration here a couple flags around the place but all in all like it it was very frustrating to build on here and i kind of didn't really do a huge amount uh, i did actually build this thing back here which is really cool like a nice little building um this is where my like bed and stuff were stored and we have like a dermis of the uh the the desert titan as well uh, a couple windmills of course as well uh, even moving around on here you can see it's just so glitchy it's very very glitchy um, but another frustrating thing was just the actual platform saddle look at that those those ceilings are placed like flat i didn't i didn't mess up on that the platform saddle is actually weird and one side comes up more than the other it's very frustrating but um yeah so down here we had a little bit of a um a storage kind of like bunker area uh, didn't really do anything down here, unfortunately. Like, in the end, you know, it was just another cool project that I did, and I was like, okay, I don't really want to return to this or try to fix it in any way, but I did, I think I did actually end up coming back and making this building here. That wasn't there initially, but, um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I actually quite like that. So, yeah, this is pretty much the whole base. Um, obviously, the, I just hit fly, and I flew through the ground. Cool. Oh, are we okay? Yeah, very, very glitchy. Um, the, t the Desert Titan's still, like, functional and everything, um, yeah, we just can't bring them to, like, another map or anything like that, but, uh, a couple other things I wanted to do was to actually have, maybe, like, if I was trying to see if I could get, like, a windmill, like, just the head of the windmill sticking out of here and, like, make it look like it's kind of, you know, little propellers kind of keeping it up, so I didn't end up doing that in the end. Maybe I should have painted those blue or something to make it look like a jet or put some, like, um, the little, uh, jump pads or whatever on there, like, upside down would have been pretty cool. But, um, yeah, so pretty nice space, I think, in the end. Uh, just, again, it suffered from, like, just frustration through actually trying to get it done. And, like, this actual video was very, very frustrating to make. And um, in the end, I was honestly, like, very close to scrapping it. And I'm glad that I didn't because people did enjoy it. But it was very frustrating to do. Um, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And next up, where are we moving to? Lost Island. You guys haven't seen this because it's an abandoned project. And I will show you it but it's not complete so let's go over there well you're gonna be surprised by by the scale of this and i'll tell you right now i actually also had a video like 70 percent done on this so first of all let me just show you it <laughs> so yeah this is our, our little kind of like desert oasis base um down here in lost island of course in the desert biome um we had a couple entrances to it uh just three so one at the very front and then one there and one there um i really like this i mean i think that it ended up being really cool looking um i did a lot of cool building techniques and everything in here we had like a little bit of uh, foliage kind of growing as well um and then we had like this cool like fire pit kind of area that goes right up into the other floors um and then right here was like the next floor which uh i can't remember if i actually had an idea for here maybe just like some creature storage or something like that another like a little kind of fire pit type thing again that goes up to there 
Um, and yeah, I mean, just all in all, like this, this base would have been really, really cool to finish off. So why did I stop? Why did I not release the footage? Why did I not do any of that? Actually, it was the first video. I, I actually still haven't even done it. Um, I, I basically borrowed my wife's computer. I just had her computer, like her character flying up in the air, just watching the whole time lapse of me building this. I did that for the very first time and everything. I put so much effort into it. And then... ASA was announced. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that 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 happened. Um yeah, it was uh that was that was a rough time and I was like, "Ah." Like and I just I I kind of like I I I think when it was announced, I was happy and excited and everything, but at the same time I was like, I'm putting all this effort into all this stuff and I don't know if I want to try and finish it. So, yeah, this one suffered from ASA. Um <laughs> yeah. It was a cool base. It would have been really nice. This was just the start of it as well. Um, the initial kind of idea was to build this and then to build off and kind of like build like a big kind of city wall around here. And when ASA was announced, I was thinking, you know what? I might just like scrap the whole thing and just hold on to those kind of ideas for the future. And I might end up doing that as well. I'll probably make it better in the future as well. But um, yeah, you can see here, like it, it looks pretty cool. Not perfect, but yeah it also wasn't even done by the way there would have been more decoration in there for sure and everything but um yeah so yeah that that was pretty much it um by the way the roof was supposed to look like this um i didn't half ass that or anything there but i didn't actually bring it up to the next floor which i was supposed to do but um yeah so it's just it's one of those projects i believe it actually it I, it might have been episode 151 i think i'm not entirely certain it was around there that it should have landed I believe so yeah anyway it's just yeah it just it suffered from from that uh we actually have our Sinnoh here as well um that helped me build this whole thing as well which is great so yeah this is uh just something that i wanted to show you guys um yeah <laughs> it's, it's kind of disappointing but it is what it is all right well that's that's pretty much it i didn't build over on um on furiter well not a proper base i mean you guys have seen that tiny little workshop i built just for a function uh, so now we're going to be heading on over to Val, which is like the main map, I would say, of the series. I spent the most time over there. I built the most stuff over there. All my big farms, all of my everything is pretty much over here, along with some other stuff that you guys haven't seen as well. Not abandoned projects like this, but kind of abandoned uh, ideas, I guess. We'll get to it. So this is a very strange one to try to explain. Um, yeah, just a wall of syntax and a bunch of syntax in the sky and... Um, it would have been a picture of me here too, but we never got around to that. Uh, how do I even begin to, to explain what this was? <laughs> it's so strange. Yeah, you guys have never seen this before. It's never appeared in a video. I just looked at my, my cake to pass right there. Damn, boy. Um, yeah, so initially, like, like early on in the series, we had the whole thing with like the magic portal. And then we had like a funny little kind of... I thought it was like a funny little skit where we, we had... Uh, like a person come on here and then take um mystique and essentially you know or was it winston i can't even remember now i think it might have been mystique it was a long time ago they it was like a wild card enforcer and they came on and took uh mystique or winston or somebody and um essentially from there we we were gonna do like a bit of a storyline um i got a such a weird response to that kind of stuff that i was just like no 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 i'm not doing that anymore um where's the light there it is uh kind of like around here so I think my initial response to that was like so many people were like this is so fake and it's like yeah obviously <laughs> what do you mean it's so fake did you like thanks sherlock anyway um so my kind of my whole idea was to just have essentially like this would be like the eternal prison um <laughs> just like you know this is the syntax worship chamber essentially um and there would have been, you know, there's one little bed, there's <laughs> there's a little bit of water right there, there's, like, would have been a TV with just a picture of me, and then a toilet. And um, this would have been where I would have put the the wild card enforcement, which was, like, the whole kind of storyline thing there. Um, yeah, I got such a weird response to it. I know some people enjoyed it, and some people can see the lightheartedness of it, but so many people were like, this is such fake PvP, this isn't real. It's like, oh my god, guys, seriously, come on, grow up, <laughs> obviously. So yeah, um, it was just one of those things that would have been pretty fun and I had some cool ideas for, but yeah, in the end, obviously, it just turned into nothing and there's a bunch of bear traps here. I put these here, not Evo. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's that's just something that you guys have not seen before. It's kind of close by to the containment facility, 
that I had for my Indominus Rex and I used for a couple other things recently as well. Right out here, we had our little break glass. I think it had a sign at some point, I believe, right? Yeah, I think it did. Oh, does it say it? Yeah, there it is. Uh, yeah, we have to break glass and then eat some organic polymer, which of course kills you. <laughs> I guess I broke the glass, but did I eat it? I guess I didn't. I'm very confused. Uh, so everything's powered off, here, unfortunately, right now. But uh, this is our little containment facility. Um, I just had like a bunch of cameras around here, just like looking down on it. I think we were back here for the uh, Ceratosaurus taming that we did recently. Um, and uh, yeah, of course, this is like the little feeding kind of port right here. So I came right up in all the elevators and then I could like drop my um, my creatures down here to feed whatever I had growing up inside of here. It was kind of just like a, a way of like making it a little bit more fun to just raise up a creature like the Indominus Rex, which of course will attack you and potentially kill you. So it was a cool idea and I'm super glad that I did it. And um, yeah, so that's that's the containment facility Delta, I believe is what I called it um let's go check out the gotcha farm which is oh i guess uh it's probably not really super worth checking out where exactly is it there's the level up area i think it's here yeah this is pretty much it i actually have it closed off right now um because we were we had some baby gigs in there recently uh yeah so that's just essentially where i did all my leveling i just had like a bunch of uh, creatures in there breeding up and then i would essentially just like dump them all out and um and pretty much just like murderize them with whatever I'm trying to level. So that's where I did it all. Uh, right here is my gotcha farm. And a second ago, they look like weird little triangles. Let it all load in. It's going to take just one second. I believe we, we called this one the crystal tree. And um, I really like this project. It got a lot of good feedback and I was super happy with it. But um, yeah, so this is, <laughs> it's, it's a lot. There's um, crop plots in here with plant species, uh, Y seeds growing up in them, which basically feed the gotchas. And then we have snow owls up, up on like a higher level up here to full levels of snow owls. And they would essentially give them the pellets and the gotchas would do the rest. And they would just produce so many resources for me. It was actually just 100% insane. It was absolutely ridiculous but um yeah all of them are super happy because they're inside these little gotcha gavagers which is an s plus thing which you know uh kind of makes it a little bit easier i like i really like what i did with like the bottom of them as well that looks really cool um and then yeah i guess we'll go inside real quick so just like the outside here it just looks really nice it's like this massive uh, uh hexagon with like the towers and then at the front we have like the um the gateway to get in and yeah just really love this project and it provided me with all the resources i would ever need i have a gotcha here for everything i actually have two element dust ones i'm not sure which exact ones they are that's the uh, fungal wood one what are you yeah you're like green gem so yeah i probably could have put some pictures or something up to actually have the resources visible that would have been a cool idea maybe yeah i should have done that to be honest i don't know why i didn't think about that so yeah we have like four levels of gotchas six of them on each level and here's the last level and then this is the little workshop slash just item room area now you can see right here we have a lot of items um i pulled some out recently enough because i needed more items for uh repairing my armor and stuff like that but um yeah we have like a lot of stuff in here and that's just all of the raw items like we were getting like armor pieces and everything and and it was insane so yeah all that's like being collected up and cracked inside of these crystal crackers and and then yeah we just we just had an overload of items to the point where i never really had to go out grinding for anything after this uh the only thing i needed to do was just to keep this place online which wasn't too difficult to do we have the a full level of of snow owls here another one right here as well and then this is the roof which i I guess, uh, yeah, I was about to try and fly using my tech suit, but I just realized I couldn't do it on top of this. And then I realized I'm not doing that in this episode. This is the roof, which I love. I really, really like the roof, of, roof up here. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And um, yeah, that is the crystal tree. Really cool project. Super happy with the way that it turned out. And it's also extremely useful as well. Now let's move on to another farm, which I built way over here, Eggfall, which kind of i think inspired quite a lot of uh of element farms throughout the r community did my guys starve no they didn't are you kidding oh they must have how the hell did that happen oh no well it's a good thing that the series is ending <laughs> okay great well anyway this is egg fault this is our um it's very dark here hang on that's a little bit better. Valkyro lighting is very strange. I feel like this whole biome is just in darkness all the time. Very, very strange. Well, this... <laughs> it's not very impressive to show without all the parasaurs, but... Okay, let me explain. On each level, there was 12 parasaurs, all females, laid out on, like, the exterior foundations or, like, ceilings right here. Um, and then 
on these platforms there was a male so there was uh 60 in total female parasaurs and two males the reason i i had to have two males was the fact that the females were just too spread out um so essentially what we had was i think initially it did like the three levels and then i wanted to expand it so i added another two and he just wasn't able to reach all the way up here unfortunately so yeah we um we had 62 parasaurs and holy crap it gave me a lot of resources um so i i tried to do some modifications to it later on like down the line because occasionally the eggs would get stuck up here which was kind of annoying because i didn't have them all hanging fully off because it was kind of glitchy and it was just difficult to do so occasionally the eggs would get stuck in the edge and then they would hatch up here and then we just have a bunch of parasaurs up here and i did have railings on the outside initially but then i removed them and then tried to do this whole thing of like just an exterior kind of like glass thing which i would have hidden so i would have basically just went ahead and just done this so you wouldn't even notice that that all that stuff was there and um then i was just running into issues trying to get them to actually walk down get fed down into the middle chamber and i started using these and it just became a mess and then i abandoned it so it was still making me resources for a long time and i think i actually turned it off at one point i just made myself invisible i didn't want to get attacked by things but um yeah so it was functional like and obviously these power stores would have only starved recently i would say yeah that's kind of crazy um so then down here all the eggs would fall down here and get hatched up uh because we have a bunch of aircons here and then baby blender would have blended them all up into lovely little resources do you have anything in you you do not right now I probably cleared you out at some stage yeah so i guess my feeding trough here just ran out at some point i mean it's a lot of power source to feed so kind of makes sense and i guess i pulled all my resources when i kind of deactivated the uh the farm i turned all of the males off of breeding and and yeah so we um we didn't have anything else coming in here but um yeah that uh that was a cool project and i'm actually kind of really sad to see that all the power source starved that is very very disappointing did not even know that that happened so yeah that is uh that's egg fall what else do we have we have a couple more things i think right <clears throat> oh let me show you something else that i abandoned <laughs> the museum i think i'm just done with the idea of doing a museum for arc because of the dermises and how they work i don't even need to go into explain or complain about them again but this would have been a massive super long museum i thought it went further uh that would have spanned across all the water here and you just would have walked all the way through the issue with the taxidermy things is you can't have too many of these in the same area so my idea to kind of like work around that was to have it just continue really really far in the distance to the point when you know we when we hit the limit we're probably far enough away that these ones aren't loaded in again or whatever you know so that was the whole kind of idea and um i think i showed it off at one point but i never actually completed it this is the most that i did for the actual farm um yeah i think i'm just done because like the dermises just don't work well like there's so many creatures that don't they don't get one properly and then like the unicorn gets a horse one and it's just so frustrating i think i'm just kind of done with that stuff uh over here was the breeding bunkers when they want to load in uh here we are so this is probably where i spent the majority of my time in this whole series uh just in this kind of area because this was like my domain the breeding you know we did so much breeding in this series you know uh so i have like three of these little buildings uh let me just go inside so they're pretty much identical in every single way the one in the middle has like more workshoppy stuff inside of it but yeah we got a bunch of sinos there still i forgot about those um but yeah so just like an absolute ton of breeding went on in here definitely spent more than I, I would say 90% of my time on Valgiro was spent here. Uh, we also had all of our mutations here. And I actually had a cool idea that I was going to do before uh, ASA was announced. And I was going to essentially make a massive, like, almost library of all my mutated creatures. And it was going to be called the Mutation Vault. And, um, yeah, I was essentially going to make this into just something better, you know. Uh, hello moth i was i think i was gonna have like a, a massive ass building probably all like techie and everything with uh pretty much like a record of every single creature that i've mutated and then space for all the other ones that i was planning on doing because i didn't think the series was really ever gonna end i was gonna continue this into arc 2 if i wanted to play some more arc survival evolve but then asa got announced so that's the thing but yeah this is actually not every single creature i've mutated there's more uh, there's definitely more <laughs> somewhere else but uh a lot of the creatures that i mutated are here and then some that i actually didn't i don't think i ever did poison uh, or fire whatever mutations but i did have boxes for them some of them are actually just randomly like shoved into here as well so i probably have like uh other random creatures inside of some of these boxes but 
yeah, that uh, that was another idea that I was going to do that, again, it was just like, you know what? Like, if the series is going to end, I'm not going to put in a crazy week of, like, building, like, a massive-ass thing and then just abandon it in a couple months. It didn't really feel right. And in all in all, like, some of my ideas, I like to kind of hold on to them. If I'm, if I'm going to be having those opportunities down the line, I'm going to hold on to the ideas and then use them, you know, further down the line. But, um... Yeah, so we have one more thing over here. Let's see. We have the Tech Hamburger, <laughs> which is what people like to call my base. This was actually my second base here. We initially had a castle, and that's where Sky Mammoth comes from. Sky Mammoth was just my mammoth in my in my castle. It was just in inside of my castle on the roof, maybe, or something. Uh, when I removed the castle, ma the mammoth never fell. <laughs> and we've, we've said for a long time that... You know, if Sky Mammoth ever falls, the series would end. And, um, yeah, that was just a running joke. So Sky Mammoth kind of became a bit of a deity, I guess, on this server and in this series. So, yeah, really cool. Um, up here, actually, we have another thing to quickly show off. It's mostly died off. Oh, my God, we still got a dung beetle here? What the hell? Dude, how the hell are you still alive? I have not been feeding you. <laughs> uh, you can see right here, this was initially a big garden, a big walled-in kind of garden. Um... We had a ton of, of stuff growing in here to the point where I didn't really need any more. And yeah, pretty cool. Um, I think I also had like some upside down plants here as well, which really, I, I'm just thinking back. Yeah, they, they looked really cool as well. I should do that more often. Just an upside down farm. <laughs> just like walk into my base and just like the crops are like growing on the roof or something. That would have been amazing. But um, yeah, so this was uh, just a cool farm that we had here. And of course, when the castle was here, the entrance was like right around here. So yeah, when I removed that, because um, I wasn't ever super happy with it. It was a bit chunky and, and clunky and everything, and I wanted to use this area still. So I, when I got to tech and I had access to all that, I essentially... Um, let me just turn off my, my generator thingy. By the way, I, I edited the I and I so it would become giant like that. That's how it's so big. Oh, my turrets are killing everything now because they think that we're being under attack. But um, yeah, when I got to tech, I decided to just uh, build something different and it kind of suffers from annoying arc stuff like this <laughs> where the sloped ceilings you can't have like a corner piece at all so we had to have like two sloped tech roofs intersecting which looks really bad but i've kind of i don't know i think it's kind of grown on me just a little bit um so then of course the name for this base i did not name it everybody wanted me to name it the tech hamburger and i hated that but it's the tech hamburger let's be honest <laughs> it's really cool um i had some ideas for like a little garden out here as well actually as well i was gonna do that um so that's why i put like some random foundations around like this and uh yeah i think i i played around with it a little bit i never actually went ahead and did it though but um yeah so we have the entrances right here there's like four of them uh each of these sides has like one of the main kind of like island bosses and then the manticore as well so this is the dragon side uh so of course we've got the dragon right there um and then over here we have the megapithecus we've got the trophies of them as well when we come in but we also have the flags on the outside uh manticores over here with the shields if, in case you didn't know that you could do that you can put those into the um the trophy thingies and they go up on the walls really cool uh, we have more flags right here in the manticore. And then we have the broodmother side, which you you may notice does not have any broodmothers in it. And let me rant in just one second, but this is the broodmother side. And of course, yes, right there. Um, Wildcard did something. I, I covered this one up with the Fenris flag. Wildcard did something. Uh, they, they screwed something up. I don't know what the hell they did, but they made it so I could not have trophies like the broodmother over here or any of the other ones, I think, as well. I, I was allowed to have Mooter, I guess. Was I allowed to have the other ones? I can't even remember. Yeah, I guess this one works as well. So, for some reason, even though, like, I know you're technically not allowed to bring them through the obelisk, but I, I dropped them on the ground on the island where I killed the broodmother, and then I went ahead and spawned in a new one over here. That's kind of my way of being like, this is fair, right? And a lot of people think it's fair. I don't think anybody has any issue with it. So, when I, when I, when I had those there for the longest time, one day they just disappeared. So, I was like, oh, that's weird. So, I put new ones up, and then they disappeared again. So, I don't know what Wildcard did. They, they screwed something up. But yeah, so kind of annoying. <laughs> it's really, really annoying. In fact, it was so annoying because I wasn't even allowed to use the Crystal Wyvern, um, the Crystal Queen, sorry, Dermis. I think, do I actually have one? I don't think I actually have one. But um, yeah, I wasn't able to use that. Also, for some reason, you're allowed to bring their flags. You're not allowed to actually bring the head trophy, which is really stupid. Um, and like, you're not even able to spawn them in over here as well, I think. Uh, the Mooter ones worked, but the Dermis does not. Or does it? I can't remember. Oh yeah, the Mooter one actually broke, I think, right? Let me see. Yeah, it's broken. It's so stupid. And then over here, we uh, 
we I think we probably would have put like Fenris and then uh the Dinopithecus king king over here probably I was I would have said but um yeah we never actually got around to decorating we never actually fought the king which is fine it's not a super crazy cool boss fight but um yeah so all in all this base is pretty cool let's check up top this is where all my items were we have all the stuff right there and then we have much more over here as well we basically have every single item possible inside of one of these things that's kind of like my storage area um and then down here we have the workshop area which i love this is so cool I just I have everything that I need down here and a little bit of extra clutter of course just because I didn't clean my room I guess before bringing you guys on this tour but um yeah we have the uh the the main thing the tech replicator we have the uh s plus stuff like we have the repair station that got a lot of use uh this is kind of where I kept all like my main creatures we have just a ton of guys in here um I even still have some of the titans as well but um yeah, so we have our bed here. We have a ton of creature storage, way too much as well, like to the point where they're kind of intersecting into each other a little bit. Um, all of, like, you know, all the suits of armor, which I thought was a pretty cool idea. Um, I didn't, I guess I never repainted that one or something. Cool. But um, yeah, what else we have? We have our forge over here, a uh, bunch of other stuff over here. Honestly, this, this workshop is very, like, packed with everything that I ever really needed. Uh, realistically so yeah we have like a bunch of our like other like little uh miscellaneous kind of items and stuff we have all of our blueprints in here absolutely insane amount of really good blueprints in here let's see we have just like tons i think probably one for every single creature in, in all honesty and this is like the best one of each of those except for this basilo how the hell did you end up in there what the hell <laughs> but uh yeah so yeah, this is uh this is pretty much it. I mean, like that that was the base. We spent a lot of time here as well, of course, and um yeah, we have like so many creatures here as well. It's absolutely insane. In fact, let's pull out some of the creatures and just kind of, you know, we'll we'll leave them here for future generations of of syntax to to come visit. I don't know what I mean by that. <laughs> I'm not having kids. <laughs> here let me let me chuck this down here here we go let me put you to sleep dagger you've been such a good tame i absolutely love the shadow mains i'm gonna be so disappointed to not get to play with them for a long ass time because it's probably gonna be maybe close to two years before we get genesis part two in asa but there we go they're they're having a little nap an eternal nap because i'm never gonna wake them up oh that's dark uh we have backpack of course which uh would have gotten a lot of use if uh if asa never got announced <laughs> oh man yeah i think in the, in the very end like i did want a name for it but a lot of people just said to just call it backpack which i never did but it's kind of close builder's backpack i never changed his name but it's essentially a little backpack oh man who else do we have we've got athena my absolute insane boss rex the tech version of course which probably should have went for a regular looking one because they're much cooler looking but yeah i really like those colors that i got to be honest that looks absolutely fantastic maybe you're a little bit too big for the base though we do have night owl the real one not the dermis one let me chuck you down here Ooh, there we go and you're not a triangle amazing <laughs> night owl got so much use as well just like one of the main creatures that i was using for such a long time it's kind of crazy we've got hot dog which is one of the more kind of newer additions i would say but definitely a super handy and useful creature to just get around it's the fastest traveling mount that you can get a maywing is so yeah definitely needed one and i love the colors on it i some people weren't a big fan of it but i absolutely love it it's just ketchup and mustard what could you not like about that we got you tenant dan and crispy bacon here we go look at you two the mvps of all boss fights after i created you guys um yeah obviously really really cool like the the what is it called um the x um what are, what are they called oh, i can't even think i'm thinking i was about to say the x utanid uh the x utaranus is so cool looking with like the blue eyes and everything and like the colors and everything i just i think i did a great job with that uh but also the r daedon looks really cool i love the skull on it the only thing that i don't like about the r daedon is the rest of its body is super plain looking it's got like no pattern or anything but it's got this really cool like skull kind of area and i'm super glad with my color choices on there because i think it looks great so i had to come outside because i can't fit all my guys on the inside but here we go we got juggernaut which is our karch we have doomsday which is our giga uh we have oh let's check out athena we've already seen athena but still oh no 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 passive where are you going <laughs> we have mega karen which we made somewhat recently um yeah just absolutely crazy looking giant carnivorous creatures i mean like goddamn we have lockjaw which i would have actually done a max mutation dinosuchus 
and it was actually kind of in the works a little bit as well but of course we just didn't have enough time to finish it this thing right here got me uh one of my top viewed videos as well so very very happy for you um <laughs> Oh my god, such a cool looking Dinosuchus though. And then we also have Mercury as well here, um, which is my mutated Magmasaur, and I absolutely love it. It looks like it's silver, to be honest, but yeah, really cool looking. Very frustrating to make, but really fun to actually have. Now, unfortunately, I don't actually have Poe over here. Poe's still over on the Lost Island, and I keep forgetting to go ahead and grab him, but for the moment, we'll use one of Poe's replicas i guess as a uh as a little placeholder so there's what poe looked like and of course we have ultimate poe which is maxed out mutations and all the good stats so really really handy we have nova as well oh what the hell were you a second ago <laughs> that was not right we have nova our uh, our crazy uh, mutated um rg of course with the amazing colors of the uh, and the patterns as well of the x rgs they look so cool very very nice uh and then we have mystique our newer version of mystique our ultimate mystique with all of the best stats and everything uh this thing was an absolute beast that in all honesty just could just pretty much destroy everything it was such an insane creature and then we have two very special creatures that i've had for a long time and i'm gonna chuck you off my shoulder backpack because we we have the og shoulder pet we got winston in case you're curious this is my original winston this is the original oh my god <laughs> what the hell he definitely looked really old there um yeah this is winston the original winston from uh way back in uh season four of the island and uh yeah i brought it to every single server since then and and we still have you it's even called sin winston which is like back then it was a big server with like a lot of people on it so we would have all named our creatures like tagged them with with that at the very start and this is the original winston the original little shoulder pet and it feels really good to to get to have you here again um and then right here this is the original mystique which is asleep <laughs> but also right there you can uh wait uploaded from ragnarok game server i guess that's oh wait no tamed on it says right there yeah so um wait was Winston in season three or four? I think it, no, you're season four, I think. Hang on, let's see. I just need one of these and then I can tell. Um, Mystique is sleeping though. So yeah, my last server that I had it on was Ragnarok game server, which uh, was the last cluster. I renamed it after because I kept some of the games. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and just wake you up, Mystique. If you'll wake up, you please wake up. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, let's see. Let me go ahead and put you to sleep, Winston. Oh, wait, I never... Did I use that on you? I did not. Here we go. Boom. Put you to sleep. And yeah, you can see... Wait, tamed on. Okay. That was probably our season four, I think. I don't know. It definitely... Yeah. I'm thinking back. It definitely was season four. But the last server it again was on was the uh, Ragnarok game server. So, um, yeah, this is this is the original pair. My original blutations. Ah, look at them together. Oh, man. So, um, yeah, you know... <laughs> It's going to be really sad to actually say goodbye to them for the final time because I'm not going to be able to bring them to ASA. Like, to get them, I would have to remake them. And I don't... I don't know if I want to. Um, it's, part of me kind of wants to remake Mystique. But at the same time, I don't know. I don't know whether, whether or not I want to actually do that, you know? Because this creature right here is so special to me. Like, we've had Mystique for over six years. We're having a couple little laggities right now, probably because of a server save. But yeah, we have... um mystique for like over six years which is so insane so um yeah i don't know i don't know if i actually want to do that and i guess at the same time winston right now would be also six because 2017 is where I, when i got the two of these um so yeah i don't know <laughs> it might be a thing we'll see it's gonna be so sad to leave you guys though damn i've i've just i've had these creatures for such a long time it just feels wrong you know in a way um some exciting news though uh, i'll show you a photo we have a mystique plushie launching on friday um <laughs> So, yeah, that's the thing. I'll, I'll talk more about that probably in a couple days. But, uh, yeah, uh, keep your eyes peeled for that in case you're wanting one. Um, it's really cool. It's very, very high quality and everything. Anyway, back to it. Um, yeah, so I don't know, man. It's going to feel really, really wrong to just leave these creatures behind. Um, yeah, <laughs> it just... I don't know. I, I'm getting kind of an emotional. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like having to actually say goodbye for the final time. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Well, I can't just say goodbye right here and now. I think we're going to spend one last sunset together and just absorb the end of my Ark Survival Evolved journey. Oh, hello. What the hell? <gasps> the Gallimimus Overlord, you're finally here! What is this? What does this say? Let the mammoth of the sky fall to the earth and ascend with me. Okay. I guess I will. 
All right, guys. I, we've said it for the longest time. Sky Mammoth Falls, the series is over. Let me just let me just prepare myself mentally for this. This is going to be a crazy <laughs> a crazy thing to watch. I wonder what's going to happen. Is the whole server going to explode? Like, I don't even know. I guess we're going to have to find out together, though. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's uh, It's been a hell of a journey. I'm sorry about the lighting right now. <laughs> But um yeah, I'll see you uh see you in ASA. It's going to be a fun time, I think.